Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. Today's video is going to be a spring designer haul for 2022 featuring pieces from Zimmerman, Dolce & Gabbana, Anna Thomas and more. I've got a few boxes here and I've got these bags here as well. So it's going to be a spring designer unboxing try on and review video. I am going on holiday to Europe at the start of June for a month and a few of the pieces that I have purchased I got in mind for this holiday. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I think we'll get started with a few pieces from Zimmerman. So I'm going to start off with what is probably my favourite piece out of everything that we've got here and it's something from Zimmerman. I picked this up in store at the Westfield Sydney Boutique yesterday and this was featured in the runway show for Zimmerman's The Dancer Spring 2022 collection. As soon as I saw this on the model in the show I knew that I would have to add this to my wardrobe and I'm really happy that I was able to pick this up. So it is a top in black. I'm adding a lot of black to my wardrobe over the last year or two I'm noticing. This is stunning. It is quite simply a work of art. So we have this little corset top here and you guys will be able to probably see it better in the cutaways but this is absolutely beautiful. It has got slightly puffed sleeves with a lace detail there. We've got the, the lace detail on the bust line. There's like a little polka dot print there. And then it is quite sheer with some boning throughout. So absolutely stunning. This is definitely sort of more of a, a dressier or event style piece. This actually comes in white as well. And I wasn't sure between the white or the black because both looked really beautiful. However, when I tried the white on, I just didn't love the way that it looked as much or I didn't love the way that I felt in it compared to the black. I just felt that the black was just absolutely stunning. It's something that looks very sort of chic and elegant. It gives a lot of contrast between the dark black color and my lighter skin tone as well. So I think that really sort of was the, the key defining factors that made me choose the black version over the white, but the white also is equally stunning. So in terms of sizing, I got this in 0P size, which is Zimmerman's sizing for petites. I'd say that if this is true to size, it is quite tight sort of around the, the bust area and because it is a corset style top, it is designed to be quite fitted. I did try on this size 0, but that was gaping a bit on the bust line, um, so I decided to go with the 0P. And in terms of styling this, I think that this would look beautiful, particularly with the black shorts that Zimmerman have styled this with online. I think that is a really chic look. And because the top is so feminine, I think the black shorts really have that um, great contrast between the masculinity of the shorts and the feminine nature of the top. I also think this would work really well with like black jeans, white jeans, black pants, um, skirts as well. So definitely a lot of different options in terms of styling but this is a piece that I am so looking forward to wearing and I can see myself wearing this particularly when I'm in Paris next month um, going out for drinks. So yeah just a, a really beautiful top and one of my favourite ever pieces from Zimmerman. So moving on to the second piece which I purchased from Zimmerman and actually purchased this online. So it got delivered and I wasn't 100% sure on the colour. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below whether you think this colour would actually suit me or not. I think that it would look a lot better if I had um, a tan on. I don't have any sort of fake tan on at the moment, but it is a dress. And if you guys are sort of subscribed to my channel or you watch my videos regularly, you already know how much I love sunray pleats. So I've gotten this dress here. This is um, a midi dress and it's just absolutely stunning. We've got sort of like a, a really lovely pinky blush coloured base with sort of like little white splotches there. It does have a sort of scoop neckline at the front and the back and then it's got a little waist tie there as well. So and this is also lined so we have that sort of matching coloured lining there and in terms of sizing I did pick this one up again in a size 0p. 
So this dress, I have tried it on already and I know that I'm definitely going to need to get it altered. So in terms of the length, because I am so petite, um, I definitely need to get this taken up. And I also think I need to get it taken up slightly on the sleeves as well. Um, it does come down sort of a little bit low around the bust area. So I think that it would be worthwhile me getting the sleeves sort of slightly taken up a little bit more so it does fit me perfectly. But what I love about this dress is just how feminine it is. So it really accentuates sort of the, the bust line and, and the hips. And I just adore the sunray pleats as well. So definitely a really beautiful, beautiful dress. But I'd love to hear what you guys think below, particularly in relation to the colour. So let me know your thoughts. So the next designer item is by Dolce & Gabbana and it is the first ever item that I've purchased from D&G. So I purchased it from the Louisa the Aroma website and this was my first ever purchase from that site. The delivery came super fast so I was really, really happy with that. And this is something which is a little bit different for me in terms of style and it's also super bright in terms of the colours. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. So here we have the piece here and it's obviously super, super cute, very, very bright. So actually perfect for um, summertime. And this is in the Dolce & Gabbana Coretto print, which I think is a traditional Sicilian style of print. And... Um, what they have is they have like carts, like like horse-drawn carts in Sicily back in the day and they used to have like a lot of colourful artwork and that's how they would personalise their carts. If you're watching this and I've gotten this wrong, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments, but it's sort of that historical nod to the traditional Sicilian Coretto artwork which I absolutely adore so this one has um it's got a really interesting print on there so I'll just show you guys up close so you can see we've got the little Dolce & Gabbana logo there and the print there and then it's the same on the back as well so this actually does have a matching skirt that I really want to get, but I wanted to order the top first to see if I would really love it um, and how I felt in it before splashing out on the matching skirt as well. So this is a cotton poplin top. I got this in a size 36. And yeah, it's something that is really, really different because I don't usually wear crop tops. Um, but I thought going to Europe in the summertime, this would be perfect to wear with either the matching skirt or with white separate. So like a pair of white shorts or a white skirt or even white linen trousers as well. Um, you know, just heading off to the bar, having drinks, this would be perfect. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, I'll show you what it looks like in the cutaways. Um, you'll have to forgive the fact that I don't have any fake tan on at the moment. Um, but I think this would obviously look lovely with a little bit of a tan. And yeah, let me know if you guys think I should get the matching skirt um, for this but absolutely beautiful and also another thing which I think is great about this top is that you can actually wear it with the, the shoulders sort of sitting up like that or you can have it sort of off the shoulder as well so you can definitely have different sort of necklines depending on how you want to style it and wear it but yeah super cute super bright something definitely a little bit different from my personal style um, so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below Okay, so moving on to a couple of pieces which I think are great um, for springtime, especially when there's still that little bit of a chill in the air. And I picked up a couple of pieces yesterday from Anna Thomas, which is an Australian designer. And the reason that I, there's two reasons I purchased these pieces. The first reason is because I knew that I actually needed these in my wardrobe. There's sort of a, a gap and I I had these on my wish list. The second reason as well um, is because I was looking at the weather at the start of June for Paris and also London and the temperatures last year at that time of year looked like they were going to be a little bit cold. So I've got trying to figure out my travel wardrobe for Europe and I know for Santorini I've got like a lot of super summery lightweight cotton and linen pieces but then for Berlin, London and Paris I'm not sure on if it is going to be as warm so I want to have some pieces that 
sort of give me that little bit of extra warmth as well um, just in case it is a lot cooler than what I'm going to be expecting. So I'll unbox the two pieces I got yesterday and one of the things that I really love about Anatomist is just the quality of their clothes. So I've got a couple of blazers from Anatomist that are amazing quality. They can be a little bit pricey, but I really do think that the design, the, the cut of the pieces and also the fabric that they use is just second to none. So I'm quite happy to sort of pay that sort of premium um, price point because I'm you know very confident that I'm going to get that back in terms of the quality design and material. So the two pieces I got, very simple. I got some wool and cashmere crew neck knit tops. So the first one is a colour that um, I can find quite hard um, depending upon the shade to work for myself and my skin tone. So I got this lovely crew neck here. This is in, they call it the biscuit colourway. So it's obviously that sort of really light um, camel or yeah, camel coloured um, shade here. I liked the way that this looked in store and I think that this is something that would be really, really easy to wear with like a, a pair of jeans. And I got the exact same top in the black. You can't really go wrong with a black wool cashmere crew neck knit. They're very, very simple. In terms of the cut, I got these in, they're both in a size small, which I think is the smallest size for this particular piece. It's not too fitted, but it's not too oversized either. So I'd say that these are both a very sort of classic cut and the material just feels super, super soft. Like it feels like a lovely fluffy cloud sort of blanket against the skin. That's probably by virtue of the cashmere and the composition as well. But just two really lovely pieces. I think that you know, if it is going to be a little bit cooler in Berlin, London and Paris, then this is just something very simple that will work well with jeans, a pair of sneakers or loafers, so I can still sort of feel comfortable and, and look sort of polished while I'm out and about. Okay, and the last item which I picked up is something from Lacoste. And this is something, again, that I purchased specifically in mind for the holiday. So I know that next month in Europe, I'm going to be doing a ton of walking around, exploring um, different places. And I knew that I needed to get a decent pair of shoes to walk around in. So I picked up a pair of sneakers. And when it comes to sneakers, I like the sort of really slim line, sort of traditional tennis sneakers style of look. So I picked up this pair here from Lacoste. And I really, really like sort of how slim line they are. They're sort of like that, that low cut there around the ankle, which is lovely. And one of the things as well that's important to note is I did have a pair of sneakers from Lacoste a year or two ago and they actually cut me in the back of the heel. They gave me blisters. So these ones here don't have um, sort of that demarcation or there was like a sort of little line or extra material bit in the old sneakers whereas these don't have that. The material comes right up there. So I'm confident that that's not going to happen this time. Um, but yeah, I really love the way that these look. I really love Lacoste as well. Um, so hopefully going to be able to get tons of use out of these when I'm walking around exploring Europe. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be taking each item that I've shown you today with me on holiday. I'm really, really excited to be able to travel again. And this is also going to be my first time ever visiting England and Germany. Um, so I'm just super excited to be able to travel to a couple of new countries countries and also to be able to return to Paris in France and also Santorini in Greece. It's just, um, you know, something that is absolutely amazing, particularly because as an Australian, we haven't been able to travel. Um, our borders were closed for, you know, so long during COVID. So it's just nice to be able to have that, that trip on the horizon to be able to look forward to. And yeah, I've got to start to think about um, what my actual you know, wardrobe is going to be. I've already thought of some pieces that I want to be taking with me to um, Santorini, but it's just figuring out the rest of my wardrobe for um, the other places as well. So if you guys are interested, if you want me to sort of do a, a video on 
um, like a travel capsule wardrobe or what are the items that I'm thinking of taking with me next month to Europe, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to share that because I definitely have to start planning my, my wardrobe and making sure everything can fit in the suitcase. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I hope you are keeping well and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.